What's up, Brace fans? It's Rooney Orton Fan 2011 back here once again for round 9 of 36 in Season 3 of the PORWC Pepsi Cup Series. We're here back here in Mexico City for the Club America 300. Of course, like what we saw in the Nationwide race, we're going to see some fast-paced action and maybe a couple of stupid drivers, but who knows what could happen. Again, you see the brand new interface looks much nicer than the uh, previous one. That's not the point. We're here to uh, bring you a good 12-lap race here from Mexico City. So now let's take you to the starting lineup. Let's look at your starting lineup. Seth Cole will be starting on the pole, and we'll, he'll try to rebound after a very bad race in uh, Silver Bullet. We'll be starting next to Barney Ward, who's up in the top 10 in points. Then you got uh, Trent Dunham, who is desperate to get out of the basement in the points. And then you got Anthony McCurry, who is third in the points, looking to take away the points lead. Um, our points leader, Liam Irvig, is starting in, I think, 13th. There he is. And Eric Burton, who is actually the previous race winner, I'm going to take a look at the rest of the starting order here. Eric Burton's actually starting back in 30th here. So this could be a pivotal race to determine who will have the momentum heading into Talladega for the next race as we're just about ready to fire up the engines. Let's get us started. Here we go, 12 laps here at Mexico City. Again, we're going to watch for some of these cars just in case they have any problems prior to the start of the race. Doesn't look like that is the case so far. Pace car will hit pit road. Who's ready for some racing Mexico style? I know I am. We're going to be here for 12 laps. Waiting for the green flag, and there's the green flag. Here we go. 12 laps here in Mexico City. Watch these cars. They're four wide already on a road course. You don't see that very often. Four wide on a road course. And you're going to see some drivers possibly go to some unorthodox tactics here. See them going through the grass. Trying to cut some corners, and there goes Ryan Richards. There was a round, and I saw Kyle Sosnowski was around. Question is, is the yellow flag out? Uh, no, it is not. No, it is not. And John Waycross just fell way behind. The yellow flag is not out, which is a surprise because we saw a lot of drivers spin out. Take a look at that again. Because the field, the field really bunched up back here. It started with the 38 and, uh, started somewhere with the 38 and, I think that's Kyle Sosnowski. Yes, it's Kyle Sosnowski. Cuts the corner here. He's just going to get into Ryan Richards. Richards is going to spin out. Dylan Young is going to go head on into Ryan Richards. There you see James Qualls trying to make his way through. Going to get a piece of the 34. There's William Duncan who was on quite a roll. He's going to take some damage. Hopefully that won't be that much. Hopefully it won't be too much for him to uh, lose a lot of positions. As I think we're just about ready to go back to live action. So here we go. Let's fast forward you through a bit. Of course, again, the field here has spread out a lot, and there is Emilio Navarrete, who is having the worst season ever, as I can see up to this point in the Pepsi Cup Series. 
Get you back to the lead battle here as Seth Cole will lead the first lap and he will get a bonus point. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back after this message. Stay tuned. We just got the word Richard Johnson is heading for pit road. He took quite a lot of damage. That Cobalt Tools machine took quite a lot of damage on that first incident. Took quite a lot of damage there as you, you know, you're going to try to repair it from this point on. But we see about a bunch of cars with some with at least some damage other cars with other kinds of damage but we don't know where they all are at this point well as we as we have um completed one lap let's get back to live action right about now and we are back in live action it looks like the top three the top four five make that six are now single file pulled away from seventh place luke martin Eighth place is James Qualls. Ninth place, Joseph Lombard. Michael Norman has now moved his way into the top ten. There is our points leader, Liam Irvig, who is currently in 11th. Got, got a bit of a scratch there on the driver door. And there is his and there is his fellow Minnesotan, Danny Wells, who will try to make the pass here for 11th. And as we take a look at the rest of the field, we still haven't seen the yellow flag. Richard Johnson has come back out on the track, but he is dead last. And there is Emilio Navarrete falling to second to last. And man, he is not having the kind of season everyone he's not having the kind of season he wants. Completed two laps so far. Seth Cole still the leader. Everyone pretty much about single file now at this point. There's not going to be much passing here, so we only had one major incident that happened right at the beginning of the race, and then that was it. You see, there's a not there's not much side by side action going on here. You only see there's a there's a bit of a side by there is side by side action, but there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of three wide four wide. You don't see well. Here's some side by side action. There's Tony Blazer, Randy Carpenter, looking to kind of rebound after looking to try and get back in the points pitcher here, trying to get back in the inside the top 20. You see, Tony Blazer's got some damage to the rear of the 38 machine and now the top five have pulled away from the rest of the field top five are within three seconds of each other sixth place Dylan Young is four and about four and a half seconds behind Seth Cole and Luke Martin is about six and six and three quarters of a second behind the 24 we've gone a quarter through this race let's take a short break and we'll be right back for more green flag racing stay tuned we are back here. Kobe goes for a top 10 rundown. Seth Cole is currently your leader. Barney Ward is in second. Trent Dunham third. Anthony McCurry fourth. Dylan Pozzi rounds at the top five. Dylan Young is in sixth. Luke Martin in seventh. We got a battle here for eighth. Looks like James Qualls and Joseph Lombard are battling for eighth and ninth. And there is Michael Norman, the last car in the top 10. Uh, Danny Wells currently 11th. And our points leader, Liam Irvig, is now in 12th. And now... Seth Cole has starting to pull away from the rest of from Barney Ward who is in second. Still haven't seen a yellow flag come out. Everyone just about single file now, so so now the new thing that I'm gonna do when it when it comes to this oh Barney Ward is in the wall. Barney Ward went into the wall. Trent Dunham will take away second. Anthony McCurry trying to take third. Something happened with Barney Ward. Let's take a look. Take a look what happened with the 56. Take a look from our bird's eye view camera. The car just got tight. He went into the grass and that was how it went. Barney Ward lost second position and now he's falling back to fourth. Let's get you back now to live action. Back to live action we go. We got a battle here for second between Trent Dunham, Anthony McCurry, Barney Ward trying to defend fourth from our defending champ, Dylan Poteet. And not much has happened uh, throughout the rest of the pack here as James Qualls has actually taken over the eighth position. Joseph Lombard now ninth. Michael Norman trying to defend the last spot in the top ten from the two minute from uh, Danny Wells. And Liam Irvick has actually fallen to 13th now. Cody Lamas is now in the 12th position. Now it's Anthony McCurry taking over the second position from Trent Dunham, who won the nationwide race. And again, Seth Cole starting to pull away from the rest of the field. Seth Cole, let's take a look at the speeds at the line. Seth Cole about 166. Uh, where's Anthony McCurry? 
about 165. Let's take a look at the lap time. Seth Cole, 129.83. Anthony McCrory, uh, no wait, I meant to say 80.983. Anthony McCrory, an 81.661. Trent Dunham, an 82.367. So Seth Cole is currently running very fast lap times. So we've just about got to the halfway point now. Still haven't seen a yellow flag out, which is a good thing. No cars have DNFs from the race. Hopefully I don't have to give out a DNF here. And again, Seth Cole starting to pull away from the rest of the field. And pretty much now it's going to be a battle here for a second. Throughout the rest of the field here. Then you might have a battle here for eighth. Between James Qualls, Joseph Lombard, and Michael Norman. So now it's pretty much battling for position now as Liam Irvig takes back the trying to take back the 12th position. Couldn't quite come up with the momentum off that turn. Cody Lamas going to have the momentum. Now he's going to have that outside line. And on road courses, the outside line it might actually work. Back to the point, and now James McLeod trying to take away 13th. And now Jacob Lawler, one of the contenders for the Rookie of the Year, trying to take 14th away. Now he's trying to take 13th away from James McLeod. So Liam Irvick obviously not up to speed here. Obviously, he just got passed by his teammate there, and he's got another teammate, Sean Henley, behind him in 16th. Just past the halfway point, Seth Cole is 3.3 seconds ahead, and he has led at the halfway point. So he gets another bonus point for leading, the, leading at the halfway point, so that's major bonus points right there for Seth Cole. If he can lead another lap, then he will get another bonus point for leading the most laps, and that could be beneficial to the to the point standings. Again, we saw a lot of action happen right around here. We take a look back at the rest of the field. Richard Johnson well in the back of the pack. There's our previous race winner, Eric Burton. He's in the bottom 10 right now. So Eric Burton currently running in the bottom 10. So not really... So if he can't... It doesn't look like everyone can get back up to speed here or get up to the front. So he ends up finishing in the bottom 10. All that momentum from that previous win is going to be denied. Back towards the pack where we saw William du William Duncan, who's been having such a season up to this point. Now he's back in 26th. Going to try, try and take away a couple of spots, get a couple more points before this race is over. And again, everyone's single file, and Seth Cole starting to try to pull away. Uh, Seth Cole ran an 81.715. McCurry ran at 81.669, so Anthony McCurry was about a lit was just under, just under five one hundredths of a second faster than Seth Cole, but still he needs to get he needs to make up three point three and two three and a quarter seconds on Seth Cole within the next less than five laps. Well, it doesn't look like any other action is happening here. Here's something side by side: Ben Paul and Eric Burton. So there's not much side-by-side -side going action going on, so we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back for some more racing. Stay tuned. As now we're taking we're taking our final break, we'll take it to the finish here with three laps to go. Seth Cole is your leader. Anthony McCurry second. Uh, Trent Dunham in third. Barney Ward fourth. Dylan Poteet rounds out the top five. Dylan Young is in sixth. Luke Martin seventh. James Cole is in eighth. Uh, Michael Norman ninth. And Danny Wells has now moved his way into the top ten. Now, during the break, Anthony McCurry ran a much considerable, a, con, a much faster lap time than Seth Cole. Cole ran an 81.517. McCurry ran an 81.209. So, Anthony McCurry slowly catching up, but there's two laps to go. They'll come around with two laps to go. I don't, I don't know if McCurry's going to have enough time to catch up now. And, yes, I'm enjoying some bacon. Bacon for the win, guys. Still haven't seen the yellow flag come out. Everyone's now pretty much single file. Two laps to go for Seth Cole. Looking for his first victory in Season 3. Again, I, have to again, I, again, I apologize for the boring race. I had to skip through most of it. Because there were no cautions. But certainly we'll have a deserving winner in Seth Cole. 
There's Richard Johnson. He's he headed for pit road on the very first lap, and he is all the way in the back of the pack. He's dead last. Well, he's not going to have a good points day. And there's Emilio Navarrete. He's in 39th. He's in the bottom five, so not a good points day for Emilio Navarrete either. Just got cut. He was part of that pile up on the very first lap, and then he just fell all the way back. I apologize for eating on the job, but I'm just hungry. So now back to the front. As Seth Cole will take the white flag. One lap to go for Seth Cole. Take a look at the lap times again. Uh, Seth Cole, 81.785. McCurry, 81.723. So Anthony McCurry a little faster, but... Gonna have to make up one and a half seconds on Seth Cole. And as long as Seth Cole doesn't make any mistakes, he'll he'll secure the victory. I'm much battling here for third between Trent Dunham and Barney Ward. And now Dylan Young could lose sixth position right here because Luke Martin, a lot faster than uh, many people have thought, trying to take away sixth position, gain an extra point on the... Uh, on the standings, there's James Coles in 8th, Michael Norman ninth, and now Danny Wells in 10th, but he's looking for the ninth position from Michael Norman. Again, we'll cycle through the field one more time. Everyone's pretty much single file, so no wrecks. So, well, actually, we did have that one wreck, but it, never br but it didn't bring out the yellow flag. And here they come off the final corner. And it is all good for Seth Cole. Come down the front stretch. Sees the checkered flag in sight. And Seth Cole takes the checkered flag. He wins the Club America 300. Another great points day for Anthony McCree as he'll end up second. Trent Dunham finally getting a podium finish as he ends up third. Barney Ward, he'll have a good points day in fourth. And Dylan Poteet rounds the top five. There's Dylan Young. He's able to defend six from Luke Martin, who ends up seventh. James Coles will finish eighth. Michael Norman, ninth. And Danny Wells rounds at the top ten. So, again, I apologize for the boring race. I had to take a couple of breaks in between because there were no cautions. So, I apologize for that. But now I'll take you to your official race results. Here's a look at your official race results. Congratulations to Seth Cole, his first win of season three. And I believe that's his, I think, Fifth career, fifth or sixth career win in the Pepsi Cup Series. So congratulations to Seth Cole. Anthony McCurry, Trent Dunham make up the podium. Barney Ward, Dylan Pote, the top five. Dylan Young, Luke Martin, James Claus, Michael Norman, and Danny Wells, the top ten. 11th or 20th now are Cody Lamas, Jacob Lawler, Joseph Lombard, James McLeod, Liam Irvig, Sean Henley, Ryan Richards, Sean Galligan, Tony Blazer, and Alex Jones. 21st to 30th now are Callum Wales, Charles Jackson, Ty Naughton, Randy Carpenter, William Duncan, Kyle Zanoski, Red Bell, Ryan Cooper, Stephen Whitman, and Jake Cole. And the bottom 10, and I, mean not, I mean the bottom 12, my bad. Bottom 12 are Pichu London, Brandon Bain, Ben Paul, Eric Burton, Zohar Manute, Wolfgang Mason, Ricky Hawk, Emilio Navarrete, Lyndon Wright, Sam Young, John Waycross, and Richard Johnson. And again, Emilio Navarrete, a bottom 5 finish is... Well, that's not what you really want in this series. Nobody surely wants a bottom five finish, and Emilio Neverett's never having so many bottom five and bottom ten finishes in this season. Got a feel for the guy. But anyways, congratulations to Seth Cole. That was his first victory of season three. And next next week, we're heading into Talladega. So, it's going to be the Aaron's 499. So, it's going to be a big wild card to determine where everyone will be in the points. Could, we could see an upset winner here at, at Talladega next next week, so stay tuned for that. And I'll, by the way, I will be having a co-commentator, and it is one guy that that you may or may not know, but you'll see when uh, the video comes out. All right, guys, that's it. This is Randy Orton Fan 2011 signing off. This race has been brought to you by Pepsi Next. Chris, refreshing, amazing Pepsi Next. I'm out.